Hi, my name is Jess and I am an inspector with the Victorian Commission for Gambling and Liquor Regulation. In this video, I'll talk you through some of the key checks that are done during an inspection at a licensed venue, no matter the license type. When we arrive, we will introduce ourselves, produce identification and ask to meet with the person in charge at the time. You will notice throughout the inspection we will be taking notes, which is standard practice. We will check that you have a current liquor license on display somewhere that can be seen by everyone. We will look at the details on your liquor license, including any additional conditions, and confirm that the licensee who is listed is still current. Next, we will check you have the required signage and that this is clearly displayed and visible to patrons. It is a legal requirement that licensed venues keep a copy of the current red line plan on premises. We'll check the plan and that liquor is only being served and consumed within the area marked on it. This generally includes any outdoor areas. A red line plan will only be accepted if it has the VCGLR stamp to show it is the approved copy. If your licence type requires staff to hold a current responsible service of alcohol or RSA certificate, we will ask you to produce this for the staff on duty and the licensee. Licensees must have an up-to-date RSA certificate at all times whether they work at the venue or not. If the licensee is a business, then the RSA licence for the responsible person of the venue must be produced. We will then take time to observe your licence premises, walking through to check for such things as Are there minors on premises in breach of the Act or licence conditions and are any minors consuming alcohol? Are there any intoxicated patrons being served alcohol? And are there any drunk patrons in your venue? For restaurant and cafe licence holders, we will also check that the predominant activity at all times is the preparation and serving of meals. If we are inspecting a sporting or community club, we will also check your members register and guest register. If we find a breach, we will let you know, go through what this means and the next steps. It is important to note this is an on-the-spot inspection, regardless if the licensee or person in charge is not present. Please ensure your staff are aware of what is required during an inspection. For many license types, this now concludes the inspection. For other license types, such as late night, sexually explicit venues and some major event licenses, more extensive checks are needed. Watch video two to see what these are.